Firefighters say thousands of Queensland homes are accidents waiting to happen because of unsafe solar power systems. As Tim Collett's discovered, solar panels will continue producing electricity even after a fire. The fire might be out, but there's often the silent danger still lurking. Even though you isolate the power, there still will be current coming down from the, the roof into the, into the metre box. He's talking about solar panels attached to hundreds of thousands of homes and business premises across Queensland. After a fire, the house may be ruined, but often the solar systems remain operational and potentially life-threatening. Up, It'll start potentially generating more electricity, which can electrify the area, the local area, or um, at worst case scenario can even start a fire. That's prompted a review of firefighter training to include being solar aware at a fire scene after a number of near misses. Well there's been a, a, a number of cases where firefighters have been um, injured um, through solar energy but none that I'm aware of in Australia. It's also put solar system installers on notice, do the right thing. We're now uh, obliged to install isolation switches on top of the roofs as well as next to the inverters. That will become law across Queensland from mid-October. Those in the business of solar estimate that the extra layer of protection will add about $600 to the price of an average domestic system. But those people with solar units already on their homes won't be forced to add the new switches. So it's not ideal for us, but it's certainly a good step in the right direction. Homeowners seeking more information can contact the Electrical Safety Office via the Queensland Government website. Tim Collins, 10 News.